brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. James is with us. James is in Orlando. Hi, James. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for having me on. Sure, man. Um, What's up? I, so I'm having trouble getting to pay off my debt. I've tried many different things, make budget apps, different things like that. And I've just come to the realization over the past few days, actually, that I'm just not, I, I, I lack the discipline really needed to stop living paycheck to paycheck. And the saddest part is I have a really good salary. And, what, what's your, uh, what's your really I good really, salary? Um, I make 170. Oh, that's impressive. Okay. How much debt do you have, sir? Uh, uh, collectively, I have 27, $27,000, $28,000. What kind of woke me up on this is I ignored my debt for years, um, and then one of my both of my credit cards were canceled, and I settled one of them, and that was fine. And then the other one, I honestly completely forgot about until a few days ago when I received a – I was served because they're suing me for the debt. And that kind of woke me up where I said I need to stop pushing things. I think I kept pushing things forever because I said, well, you know, I – have a good amount of money coming and you know, my next paycheck and I'll deal with it then. But yeah. how, lo- with, how long you've been uh, making 170 James just for about six months. What were you making before that? Um, I was making, I ha- I was out of work for about a year during COVID, mm-hmm. which really hit me hard. Mm-hmm. And so during that I was doing Uber mm-hmm. and making, you know, about 20,000 a year before that I was making 90. What do you do? I work in politics. Okay. Consulting. Okay. So is that cyclical? Does that go away in another nine months? No. Um, I, I This will be my salary at least for the next few years. Um, I don't anticipate it changing or changing jobs. The, some things to keep in mind, too, I have to have two places to live because my job commutes a lot between here in Orlando and in New York City. Some of my uh, colleagues that I work with do hotels, um, but most people just end up having two places of residence. So, do, do you have, have do you currently have two places of residence? Yes. And how much is the New York apartment? The New York apartment is um, two thousand. And how much um, is the Orlando um, apartment? Um, Twelve hundred. Um, but my my girlfriend. Uh, and I split it. So okay. So so well, this is um, sorry. The twelve hundred is what I pay in my split. Okay. So this is forty thousand dollars. So so basically, you've been spending somewhere all of your money for the last six months, which is eighty five thousand dollars. It's other than some rent is unaccounted for. Yeah. So where are you spending your money, James? So it's a combination of me living beyond my means. Yeah, um, yeah, I think. And also, yeah, it's a combination of that. But also, the, there are some key different things that I just don't have that I think. So, for instance, I don't have a car. I do need to get a car. And instead of, because, you know, I've been, my credit is James, in the and I've been worried about. Where is $80,000 gone in six months? You're starting to sound like Congress. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's I've been renting cars a lot um, instead of buying. I my girlfriend's out of work, so I've been covering a lot of her expenses, and then I'm living uh, beyond. So my that whole thing on really. splitting the rent was bull crap. For, yeah, she she yeah, 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 she, yeah. she does that, but beyond that, but beyond that, I've been covering a lot of things. So it's I definitely need to get my stuff together. The other thing to keep the, okay. Let's the let here, here's what I do that. in these situations, and I, I have mm-hmm. to set a new set of things. Instead of going, I'm I, I'm just not good at this. I've not got any discipline. I and you keep naming off all these things that you are that you actually aren't. It's just what you do. Um, that's not your actual identity. Uh, so what I decided a year a few years ago. I had the blessing of going completely bankrupt and losing everything. So I didn't have a choice. I was in Mm -hmm. an extreme situation. The only way I could eat would was to behave. The only way my children Mm -hmm. had a warm home was to behave. I didn't have a choice. 
And so what I've done with folks like you over the years is I want you to put yourself mentally in a space as if you don't have a choice. Let's just pretend this, okay? Let's pretend that you go to the doctor this afternoon, and he says you need $27,000 by Christmas or you're going to die. All of a sudden, James, you would be a person of discipline. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, your budget would be perfect. All of a sudden, your stupid decisions would go away because you would have one goal. I want to live. I want $27,000 by December. And suddenly, all of this bull crap that's running around in your head would co- become laser-focused, and you'd be going, $27,000. James got one goal. Stay alive. Get $27,000. No other goal matters. No other crap matters. My colleagues have two apartments. Who gives a crap what your colleagues do? You are a broke guy making 170. You got to change some crap. Really? This has got you got to you got to get up in your face, man. Get up in your own grill and go, that's enough. I've had it. I am. This is crazy. I'm ashamed. I'm disgusted with how this looks and how this feels because that's what you've been telling me. And Mm -hmm. I'm so disgusted that I'm going to change it. And if you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, James, that's when you change your life. Yeah. Because you, you know, stupid people don't make 170 grand a year. They don't. They don't even get hired. Okay. You couldn't even have gotten the job if you were stupid. So you're not stupid, but buddy, you've been doing some stupid stuff, hadn't you? Yeah. So stop it for real. Just pretend you need $27,000 by Christmas or you're going to die. And all of a sudden I'm not renting any cars. I'm going to go get me a $4,000 car and put it down here in the driveway. Or I'm going to Uber somewhere and I'm going to Uber. I'm not renting any more cars. I'm going to quit. We are not going out to eat. And Hey, uh, chick, you need to get a job or you need to move out. Cause I'm getting rid of this $2,400 apartment for two broke people. If you don't. Mm-hmm. And Oh, by the way, I'm getting out of this New York lease for sure. And we're going to rent a cheap stinking hotel over across the river and haul your little butt over the Staten Island Ferry over there and get to work. And, you know, you don't have to spend that kind of money to work in New York. Um, cause you got to change some stuff, man. It, that, that, if I'm you, that's what I'm doing. But you got you got to turn this disgust into behavior change, the shame into behavior change.